As a political book tour, this is pretty bad. Christy Nome on uh, just uh, earlier this week on with Stuart Varney. This is just before she canceled her book tour. And I think you get the reason why she did that, uh, because uh, it wasn't going very well. And again, she's only going on right wing shows. So this is theoretically like her people. And uh, she could not get out of uh, uh, out of like out from under her shoot bragging about shooting of a dog just getting an uh, i am from uh snarkorsky who says there's no snow in south dakota to keep christy known from traveling she's telling toddler level lies now i know it's um, hilarious here's this clip you still think that you are in line to be trump's vice president no, it's, up to, it's up to donald trump he's the only person who will decide this yeah, he's the only friend. person who will decide and i spoke yes i do speak to him may i ask what yes. he said to you about yes. being no vice i president? never t i never tell anybody my personal conversations did with the dog story president come up trump. in your conversation with i talk trump? to president trump all the time about the dog about a lot of things and right now i tell you what he is being persecuted in a political hunt witch hunt in this court case so i'm proud of him dog? about how tough he is and how well he is doing did you bring up yes the dog enough with steward with trump. Did you this bring interview up the dog is with ridiculous trump? what you were doing right now <laughs> so you so. need to stop it is okay it is we'll let's stop. talk about some real topics that americans um, care about i'm afraid we're out of time oh well of course we but are we do thank you for being with us right. i know i pressed hard <laughs> but that's what people are talking about <laughs> yeah. to this day yeah gotta know thanks for joining us thank we you. appreciate it you we'll be back in wow. just a moment. Wow. <laughs> still think that you are in line. Okay. Uh, we got Ryan Grimm on the phone here. Uh, Ryan, um, is that one of the sort of just the, one of the most defeated moments uh, you've ever seen of a politician? That was just amazing to me. Yeah, like, I'm already dead. You need to stop. Right. It was, it was like the, the already dead meme. Uh, just absolutely brutal. And, you know, she read... I just I read my audio I read my own audio book uh, for the squad that came out in December, and I found errors in it as I did that, and we were able to fix them in the ebook, and then they got fixed in the in the next printing. Nothing as major as you know. Oh shoot! Did I say that I met Kim Jong Un? <laughs> I yeah. didn't actually do that, but she. The point is that she she read that uh, and did twice. Not fix it's it. in the book she twice apparently. When. Right. And she's like, when this was brought to my attention, we we fix it. Well, it was even if you didn't write it or read what your ghostwriter wrote, you read it out loud into a microphone. Uh, and that's besides the, the whole question of the dog. I, my conspiracy theory with the dog is that it never even happened. And Corey Lewandowski talked her into putting it in there because she, uh, she, he told her that, like, Trump hates dogs. That was it's Sam's theory, Ryan. It. Ryan, that yeah, was Sam's Sam, theory. Br Sam, we are brilliant conspiracy-minded analysts here. Well, I would I'm even convinced. go further it, it on that. I, it, it totally backfired. I'm also not convinced that, like, maybe she was on one of these trips with the president when he went to, with with Trump when he went to the DMZ, and it was just supposed to be hush hush. And I was like, wondering she, about that too. Like, yeah, that's maybe why she, she was traveling with Corey on, Lewandowski. Maybe. And it came out, and she's like, oh, I wasn't supposed to tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, oh, that was classified that me and Corey went over there. Yeah. That's what it sort of sounds. It, it sounds like sometimes, usually that's like usually what, what something like that is, it seems to me. Because how, how do you just blatantly write, I met Kim Jong-un, and you hadn't ever? It's just weird. Right, because also who it's like a who cares thing too. It's like there's no real points earned right among the Republican electorate because you like had this encounter with Kim Jong un. Although no, he had, like, nobody would have read the book and go like friends, she, is, apparently, so. she never she never met Kim Jong un and never stared down that little tyrant. Like so Well, I think she yeah. wanted to basically talk about how she was a tough Sunday school per teacher or Christian school like working backwards from the joke about calling the kids little tyrants and then she decided, eh, I've been to South Korea, it's good enough. Maybe. Maybe, maybe she did meet him. And we're just not allowed to know. And That's she uh one like she told her ghostwriter about it and the ghostwriter was like, Oh, this is good. I'll I'll slip this in here. It's a good theory. And yeah. And then, yeah, Noam is reading it. She's like, Yeah, maybe this will be okay. Well, and then Corey uh, reads about it in the paper and goes, What are you doing? 
that was a secret we weren't allowed to tell that we, that we took you i uh, that's my guess but uh because then she keeps going like well i was uh, you know in ag policy for 30 years okay uh strange all but right. all right yeah. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.